In this video, I will be demonstrating how the Rules Manager debugging capability works in IBM's Maxima. First, I wrote a rule that would populate several fields when the classification of a service request was changed. This, this event is an onChange event and looks like this. When the class structure is changed, it will automatically populate the service group, the service, the reported priority, the internal priority, the description, and the site ID. Now, this rule is not functioning as I desire it to be. Let me show you how that works. When I create a new record, I will populate the classification. I will classify this record as a request for IT services. It should populate the reported priority, the internal priority, the service, the service group, the site, and my summary. I am seeing that my reported priority, my internal priority, and my service group are all populated. However, my service is not. My site is populated, but my summary is being populated to the wrong value. In here, I should be setting it to a request for OS upgrade to Windows 8.1. To figure out what's going on with this, let's go ahead and debug this event. I can do this by finding the event in my Rule Explorer right-clicking, selecting the Debug, Debug Event option. I will then click on the Debug button in the top of my server explorer. If I look at my onChange event, you'll notice that I now have a dot at the top. This is because I am debugging at line one of my event. I automatically open up my internet browser allowing me to navigate to the application to reproduce my event. I will be automatically brought to line one and it will be highlighted green showing me that this is where the debugger is currently paused at. At this point I can type anything I want in the console and it will tell me what the values of those that expression is. I can also look at my variables find out values of different variables that come uh, to my contact of my event. If I want to, I can step line by line in my event by using the step over function. You'll notice as I click this, I step line by line to see what is happening. Right now I'm at my commodity setting it to PC. I know that this is not working, so let me see what my commodity is currently set to. It should be null. It is null. When I step over this, I'm at the next line. At this point, my commodity should be PC. It is not. When I analyze the line, I'll notice that I actually missed an I in my commodity field name. So I can actually set it inside of my console to make sure that by changing that line, it will work. If I hit play, the event will continue without stepping to the next line, and I can go back to my record to see if populated. You'll notice now I have service is now PC. So that did work, and I can change my event appropriately. My summary is still not being set correctly. This will require further debugging, so I'm going to step in and create our new rule for my description and see who is setting this event. In here I will put a simple print line just so I can put a breakpoint at this line. I can use the similar event to debug this event and adds a breakpoint at line 1. 
going back to my other rule, I'm going to remove the breakpoint on line 1 and place it a new breakpoint right after I set the description. I'll commit these changes, refresh my system, go back into my debugging. Now when I create a new record, to refire my event, I should be paused whenever I change my description. Here, I can see that I am setting my description. When I go up to my variables, I'm setting my description to Windows 8.1, which means this is coming from my other onChange rule. When I hit play, I now step into my other rule, where I am setting my site ID. This verifies that the description was being set by this rule. Hit play again, I'm brought back into my onChange of my description. And this time, I am setting it to the resulting request for a service, comma, IT. So there is another configuration, an out-of-the-box configuration, which is setting this event after my onChange event fires. Since I know that, all I need to do to fix this is go back into my event and change my onChange to an afterChange. Retesting my event, I'll notice my service is being set to PC and my description is being set correctly to Windows 8.1.